Hola Camigos, I am here to do a different type of video. This is going to be my response on a video that I watched recently that was titled Five Reasons You Should Not Volunteer with IVHQ in Laos and this is by Tyrus Travel Tips. I won't link it down below but you can go ahead and just search for it if you'd like. I just wanted to go ahead and preface this that I did volunteer through IVHQ in Peru, South Africa, and lastly Laos. Obviously I am Filipino and I have been to Philippines multiple times. I've been to Cambodia. So I've had my fair share of experiences in third world countries. So I wanted to preface that. So while I was watching the video, I wanted to touch base on a couple of things that she said. She didn't really list out that one, two, three, four, five, these are the five reasons. She just went on a tangent sort of to say that this is why you should not volunteer in Laos. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I will go ahead and first state what she is complaining about complaining about or we'll just call a spade a spade we'll go from there at the beginning she says that she broke her phone and lost her passport I will say that that is not IVHQ's fault nor is it Green Lions as an adult that's traveling internationally you should know that your passport and your phone are like you know they're pretty much everything that you have you can't leave the country without your passport it's hard to get another phone in a different country so just FYI just be responsible and yeah, again, I don't know what this video is going to be, if it's going to be a advice video or a tips video. I'm just going to respond to this video and we'll just take it from there. I don't know. Camille editing, figure out what to name this. So I have extensive notes because I wanted to make sure that I touched each point that I wanted to get across as well as not miss out on anything that I do want to say. He said here, so if you like strong Wi-Fi, AC, daily activity tours, watch activities uh, lots of things to do in during the day then you might not like the NTN and a couple of the complaints that I wrote down because as I watched her video which is like an on and off type of thing like oh you know combination of her whole trip as far as like what she did in the classroom she did in Laos and then along with all the bad stuff that happened in between she's talking so these are the points that I got because it's a small congested city there's pollution everywhere. The Mekong is polluted. Like, it's so hard to find people who speak your native language. People will stare at you, stop what they're doing, and stare at you if you look different. And I still got stared at. Like, death stares, too. So uncomfortable. Ugh. And then the last thing that, like, stuck out to me was the... So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go on the IVHQ website via Green Laos and just want to go over the accommodations and Wi-Fi on the IVHQ website. So if you guys don't know about IVHQ, they actively seek out local teams that offer different projects in genuine need of volunteer assistance. So I believe it was 32 countries when I was volunteering. I believe it's more they just put on a couple more countries. So let's go on their website and each country has a little thing that has the fees and things about like the accommodation so you guys know what you're getting yourself into what kind of toilets they have to say if they're westernized or not because I remember I was looking that I wanted to volunteer in Nepal but they didn't have westernized toilets and that was like a sticking point for me I know first world problems they let you know what you're in for okay so I will go ahead and go under accommodation and Wi-Fi so they have a lot of things location and duration projects arrival and orientation volunteer schedule they pretty much break it down for you so you know exactly what you're going into exactly so it looks like here accommodation and Wi-Fi it says here that I'm gonna skip through the things that don't matter it says all rooms are equipped with a fan and have shared bedroom equipped with Western style toilet and shower and then on the actual website itself one thing that I read that actually stuck out is that it says to travel with an open mind your volunteer experience will come with its rewards and challenges so if you come with an open mind and the willingness to learn and put yourself out of your comfort zone you'll be very successful so again if you come with an open mind and a willingness to learn and put yourself out of your comfort zone Ugh, just remember that okay some people are like why do people volunteer 
personally myself I think that volunteering is a great way to enrich yourself with experiences that you wouldn't necessarily experience at home volunteering internationally is very different because you immerse yourself in the culture you learn about another culture and have an understanding and appreciation for their way of life you're pretty much opening yourself up to experience something that you wouldn't necessarily experience at home so before you do volunteer internationally just go ahead and do some research gain some cultural understanding before you go on your trip go in with a sense of humility and appreciation of the local population the last thing that i want to say is be willing to eat the food that they eat and stay where they stay okay so now with all of that spiel i want to go ahead and go through each of her complaints and just debunk them or how i would respond to it they have crappy wi-fi <sighs> You are in a third world country where internet isn't in every household. It isn't on every computer. It isn't on every phone. So obviously if you get Wi-Fi, it's not going to be the best. So what I did, because yes, IVHQ Laos, you only have a certain amount of time. I think it's like two to three hours of Wi-Fi. Honestly, they sometimes give you more because it's just a little like Wi-Fi little adapter router thing that everyone crowds around and it wasn't a big deal and what I did is I actually read four books while I was in Laos and I traded with the volunteers I found some books in the community areas and honestly it was amazing just to sit read and just you know be with your own mind for a while a lot of the volunteers played this monopoly card game so i would suggest bringing card games there's this monopoly card game that everyone loved i only played it once and it was actually pretty fun i taught english while i was in laos so obviously i would take the time to also make lesson plans in advance to sh see what how i would teach what i was going to teach them next and then also what I did is I biked and walked around town. It's not much that you can see, but again, live how they live. So this is all they have, make the best of it. No AC? They do say that they don't have AC, that they have fans available. And honestly, fans did the job just fine. And ultimately what I want to say about that is just suck it up. No AC. It, you're going to Laos. You're going to a third world country. AC is a luxury. Daily activity tours. If you really, really, really want to have activity tours during the weekends are the best ways to go because ultimately you're there to volunteer, not volunteer. So if you're complaining about daily activity tours, water activities, and lots of things, or not a lot of things to do, do during the day, you're just not there in the mindset of volunteering and doing what you're there to do. Ultimately, you can go into the city during your own time in the weekends. So yeah, and I'll go ahead and list all of everything that you can do. Honestly, during orientation, they bring you to a lot of places that you can just check off your list right away. They brought us to the uh, night market, which was awesome, to the Victory Monument, Watsi Saket. They brought us to a bunch of temples as well. So you get a lot of things that you want to get done as far as sightseeing during orientation. So. So that takes care of water activities and lots of things to do. So what she said was that the capital was so boring and that it was such a small city. And to be honest, the most vulnerable and struggling communities are often the smallest. So Laos is tiny in itself. So for the capital to be so small, what do you expect? There's pollution everywhere. <laughs> I want to refrain from saying this, but I'm going to say it anyways. No shit. You are in Asia third world country why are you expecting the luxuries that you have at home that you take for granted such as fresh air you know it to make such a statement is really ignorant in my eyes it's very i don't know i yeah we're gonna go to the next because i just i can't fathom why she would say something like that she said it's hard to find people who speak your native language I honestly don't know what kind of expectation this is seriously another ignorant statement it's like it's like a Russian person not calling out Russians I'm just 
saying it's like a Russian person coming to the United States and complaining about that no one speaks Russian or a Filipino person coming to the United States saying that nobody speaks Tagalog. You're going into someone's country. You can't expect everyone to know English. It's ugh. She says people stop and stare if you look different. Yes, this is annoying and yes, it happens. I'm not personally a victim of this, but I traveled with my best friend Emily and she is American. She has blue green eyes and really light hair. All right. Back home in the USA. <laughs> I can't. Anywhere that we went, no matter what country, we got stairs. So, I mean, it's expected. I know it's annoying, but it's lightweight expected. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that would bug me is if they stare a little bit too hard or talk crap, then it's like, you know, maybe say something. But other than that, just let people stare, whatever. Maybe they think you're beautiful. Ever thought of that? And then her last statement when she says, but I give it a solid C plus, B minus, because I did find Mexican food. You rated this place based on the fact that you could find Mexican food in Laos. Think about that statement. Just think about that statement. I'm going to go back to what I said by be willing to eat the, the food that they eat. Be willing to eat the food that they eat because you are coming into their country. <sighs> okay, and that's pretty much what she said. So I'm going to end this by saying this video isn't to totally hate on Tyra because Ultimately, at the end of the day, she took the time to volunteer, give her time. I believe what she did was teach yoga from my understanding. She took the time to fly all the way to Laos and volunteer. And from my what I could gather from her channel, she does this a lot through IVHQ. I guess Laos was not her first experience. So this is not to hate on her. This is just a response video. The reason I don't usually make response videos, but this just totally hit a nerve when I watched her video with her assumptions, ignorant expectations, and slanderous title. The fact that her title said five reasons you should not volunteer with IVHQ in Laos. It's a very slanderous title and her experience might be totally different from the experience that I had, but I have heard nothing but good things from anyone that I've talked to. You have her story, now you have mine. I wanted to provide my own personal experience. So if you are thinking about volunteering in Laos via Green Lion, which I believe they're still the one that is going through IVHQ, you have her story to go by and mine, and you can make your decision as to if you wanna volunteer or not. I'm not trying to paint myself in a saintly way by you know, saying that this is not right because of that and this and blah 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 my experience and I did this and I did that no <laughs> but I have been to my fair share of third world countries and some of the statements that she made just totally struck a nerve with me let's go ahead and make your own decisions if you guys want a more in-depth video on my volunteering experiences and I did it in Peru South Africa and Laos. If you want to see more videos by me, click the red subscribe button. It would totally make my day and I will see you guys later. Bye!